all right what's going on guys t-tour is back here for another video so it has been some time since we have had the ambulance on the channel and a, a lot of stuff has changed and uh with that being said i'm samuel and i are trying to figure out the best way possible to put solar on the roof so if you guys know anybody that could give us some information or somebody that we could talk to uh, to help benefit us to maximize the solar system for the vent i think we have something figured out like we're going to do four 300 watt panels and some batteries and there's just so much stuff that we don't know that we have to figure out but i'm gonna pass it over to samuel and let him tell you all uh, what has changed and what has happened to the ambulance and what's left that we still have uh, in the shop that needs to be done to the ambulance hey y'all i'm here with tyler we're trying to reintroduce the ambulance and tell you what our plans are as far as the future goes uh, my mind's always spinning a million miles an hour on the things that I want to get done and I just overthink on it and nothing ever happens. So the plan now is we've already fixed the starter on the ambulance. I rebuilt the turbo with a KC Turbos kit. That was the second time so I actually redid it twice on the turbo. Uh, we got the tune in so I got the hydro tunes hooked up. So now the engine is a whole lot peppier. I honestly didn't think the engine had as much in it as it does and now the ambulance actually gets up and goes pretty quick maybe even could do a burnout with the box on the back i'm not real sure but i'm gonna try it just just so y'all know anyways in here inside the box we have the miles and miles of wiring that came in it that isn't even used for most things like none of it's actually hooked up to anything some of it is hooked to the exterior lights but we're gonna rip down all this insulation pull out all the excess wires take off all the extra paneling and stuff that we don't need and I'm going to turn this into a new panel probably or move it to somewhere else so that I can turn this into the kitchen area. So the goal is to have everything completely cleaned out as much as we can and then get it more homey looking in here. And I'm going to put another window in here for the kitchen. Thinking about putting the sink or stove here or here depending on how the access is. I like the drawers, everything works really well for what we have. And this is nice for when we're sleeping. This comes out and I was able to put my iPad here and I was really thinking about putting a TV in here but after that experience I was like, maybe I don't need to do that. The iPad does it all. So that was a nice shelf to have it sit on like a nightstand. So it was pretty, pretty convenient. But we're gonna yank all the wires out. We're gonna yank the air conditioner out that came in it. That only works when it's hooked, when it's actually physically turned on um, because it runs off the engine's coolant and then the AC system for the engine. So I'm going to have that yanked out and capped off and then I'm planning on doing like a cruising comfort USA air conditioner. The guys in Florida and everything that they do seems to be really really awesome and would be perfect because my ultimate goal is to run off of solar and have all the options available to me as far as going wherever I want and not needing necessarily to rely on campsites. So ultimately we want to be completely off-grid capable and to be able to go wherever we want and not have to worry about anything and have a backup plan just in case any one thing fails we'll have a backup and that's about it that's that's the plan is now we're going to build the box on the inside start yanking out wires and get everything suited for camping we already took it out once we need a thicker cushion so we're going to update the cushions get them thicker and then we'll end up after we get all the wiring figured out, we're going to put walls on and turn this into a bathroom. This is, we're going to cut out the wall. This will be the shower slash toilet area and we'll have a wall up here or a curtain and then probably put a bench down right here in the back so we can look forward. It'll fold down and it'll probably pin up. That's my goal anyways. All right, and though we said everything that we're planning on doing what I want to do, if anybody has any ideas or friends or people that have the knowledge already that would be willing to help us out, uh, solar power knowledge, wiring knowledge, any of that stuff, I'm a structural guy, I fix airplanes for a living, so I'm good on that. I'm not good with electrical and I have kind of that fear of messing with something and shorting out everything, but I have a welder and stuff like that. I do the fabrication stuff, but not so much the wiring. So any help out there, any ideas on what you guys have done, if you're into this type of thing or have seen it, the help would be very much appreciated. So hit us up, please. Thank you. Um, batteries? Batteries. So I'm going to be doing, my goal is to get some lithium ion batteries and have enough power to make it through a night running off of like a mini split kind of system on a 12 volt. 
Uh, then solar, I want enough solar to recharge it plus run during the day. So I need to be able to top off the batteries and be able to run through the night. So uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's my ultimate goal. And, and like I mentioned, we're thinking about four 300 watt panels on top of the roof. Like grape solar or something like that or the Renogy solar panels. Uh, we already did the measurement on the roof. We have about 101, I think 110, it was, 110, 110 square feet total space which gives us room to put panels on both sides two and two and then uh, have a walk space in between if we what, need to do what that. Was the, um, what's the module inside the ambulance called? And then we need like the battery control monitor system like the I forgot what it was so called. So we can see the management system where you can see where all the power is going and what everything's doing. What we're producing versus what we're using. Yeah so and, and where it's going. If you know anything, anybody that can help us, um, comment down below or shoot me an email. That's always in the uh, uh, link down in the description. Or it's in the description of the video. My email is always down there. So if somebody would be willing to help us out that has this same setup or an ambulance, that would be freaking amazing. Okay, so as you uh, as you just saw, that, that is our plan for the ambulance. I cannot wait uh, to get the ambulance done. Uh, it seems like we have so much work to do. But once we get, get in the groove of things to get everything going, I think this is going to be... Uh, a fun project and hopefully we'll have it done by the end of the summer and I have a very strong feeling that this is going to uh, motivate me to buy my own um, like camper off the grid type of uh, overlander style type of build I'm super excited but I think if I had to do it I may get like one of the sprinter vans uh, maybe a little bit more expensive but um, yeah I don't know I'm super excited to see how this thing goes so uh, thank you all for stopping to the channel and if you have any advice on what we're trying to do or have friends that do please send them to this video have them send us an email or something uh, make sure they uh, leave this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications comment down below anything let me know you watched the video peace out